In this video, we're going to look at conditional formatting. Conditional formatting will allow us to change the characteristics of a cell based on a value in the cell. The goal is if sales total is more than 100, we want to display the cell in blue. If it's under 100, we want the number in the cell to display in red. So conditional formatting is two steps. First, you need to create the styles, and then we apply the styles to the cells. So in this example, we have two sets of sales data, sales one and sales two, and we're going to apply the conditional formatting to the total cells for the two sales. When we're finished, we'll see that the $110 total should display in blue and the $95 total should display in red. So the first step is to create styles. So if you click on format and styles and formatting, the existing styles and formatting choices open up. To create a new one, right click in the white space and click on new. So we're going to call this, this will be the cell style if the value is more than 100. So I put in the name, more than 100. If you click on the number, because this is currency, we'll make sure it formats with the dollar sign. Um, the font window we can leave alone, this is fine. And for font effects, we want the color to be blue. And those are the only ones we'll worry about right now. So I'll click OK. And here's a style more than 100. Now we create a new style that says less than 100. Less than 100. And again, we want it to be currency. So it picked up the currency. The font is fine. This time, instead of blue, we want it to be red. So now we have less than 100. We can look at the characteristics. It's going to display in red um, as currency. And more than 100, we can look at it. Um, it's going to be currency, and it's going to display in blue. So we've created our two styles. We can close the style and formatting window. Now I'm clicking on the first cell where I want to apply those styles by creating a conditional format. So if you click on Format and go to Conditional Formatting, Condition 1 is going to be if the value of the cell is greater than or equal to 100, apply the cell style more than 100. We'll add a second condition if the cell value is less than 100, we will apply the cell value of the cell style of less than 100. So if I applied it to the cell, and now I can copy and paste, And you can see this is blue, although it doesn't really look like blue because of the um, resolution on the screen, and this is red. We can fix this so it'll stand out a little more by going into Style and Formatting. Um, I'll change the color to green. Let's, oh, I'll, I'll change the color to light green so that it will um, stand out a little bit more so you can see that the color is definitely different. So those are the two steps involved in creating a conditional formatting for the cells. And again, once you create it in one cell, you can just copy it across. Now, we can test it. So this is at 95. If I add $10, that's going to make this total 105, and it should automatically turn to the green. So let's add $10 from 40 to 50. It automatically turned to green. And if we change it back, it changes to red. If we 
subtract $20 from this one, that'll bring it below 100, and that should change to red. So I'll just put a zero there. It changes it to red. If I add it back, it changes it to green. So you can see that's a good way to test the conditional formatting to make sure it works.